Peace of the Lord be unto all of your souls, beloved brothers and sisters. Peace, mercy, grace from God, the Father of all creation, be unto all of your souls, beloved brothers and sisters. As we sit here, we gather this uh, day to sit here and be about the Father's business and grow in, in the knowledge of the things that He did for us. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be sitting here reading today what He went through in the book of uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Amen. And um, about His crucifixion. You know, today is a day that, that the Lord sit here and, and uh, got crucified and, and He's taken our punishment and the things that He endured. And a lot of people in this day and age, spirit, brothers and sisters, please hear the words that are being spoken unto you. Amen. Praise God. God is sitting here doing, uh, uh, working out miracles. He's he releasing people from the bondages and the shackles and the chains of the things of this world. Amen. Praise God. But he doesn't force none of us. Amen. He ain't going to force you to sit here and be obedient to you, to him. He's not going to force any of us to sit here and want to learn his ways. He's not going to force anybody that has an ear to hear. From the prophets and the priests to the evangelists to those that are just his people that are sitting. And that the sheep. Amen. Praise God. He doesn't force any of us, but he encourages each and every one of us through his word to not take the grace of God in vain. And he tells us in his word, spirits, for us not to sit you and count a comment, make a comment, think of the blood that was shed for you. Amen. That was shed for you. He didn't show no weakness. My master didn't show no weakness. He put, he showed endurance. He, he showed strength. He showed power. Amen. He showed victory and rose up in it. So you could. He tells us in his word, beloved brothers and sisters, that he did all things so that we, he showed us all things so that way we could. Amen. So that way you could, child. Amen. Not standing in the beggarly elements of the flesh, not doubting, not having fears, not having um, uh, a fear of to correct. Amen. Because God will sit here and work at all that. If it, you know, we, we say it, if God is for us, who can be against us? Don't be against him. Amen. Don't be against him. And don't, don't allow people to influence you to continue erring and indoctrinating your house and your self spirit. Amen. With deception, with weakness, amen, or with unstableness, but soundness and solidness, amen. We're hewn from a rock, the rock that could not be defeated, not even with death. He defeated death for you in these end times, beloved brothers and sisters, and me. You know, even myself, I'm not no greater than everybody else, and I try to tell people, I'm not better than you, but I'm showing you the truth. You know, we're living the truth. We're not walking unstable. We're not wavering in our faith. Amen. We got faith and believe that Christ, all-knowing and all-powerful, is greater than anything in this world. We have faith and believe that the Master Christ is your Messiah Jesus, who's blessed forever, showed us a way that he defends us, that he sits here and moves mountains that we make paths straight. We have faith and we believe. How strong is or true is your faith and your belief? How strong and how true is your belief? Amen. Because he's real. Take it to heart. Amen. Let us pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship the living God this day. Every day. Every every day wake up with praise in your heart. And tell the Lord no matter what's coming to us this day. However it's going to do. You work it out the way you need to. You just keep me humble. You keep me walking righteous. You need, you keep me being justified before you. You keep me omnipotent in some regard. The way that you need to keep me. So that I can be in your will. Let everything be done according to your will. According to your purpose. Bring everything into subjection. Amen. Praise God. And help me to bring my carnal mind into subjection. Help me to bring this flesh into subjection. Help me bring my house into subjection in an order according to your according to your ways. Amen. Commit your day into the Lord. But when you commit your day to the Lord, He's going to tell you, stop doing that. Don't go over there. Don't be stubborn and go. 
If he tells you, change this, change it. You're committing your life. Amen. You're committing your day. You're committing your ways unto the Lord. Amen. And he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Believe in that invisible God that we believe in through our clay lips. Believe in him. In that heart of flesh that he's given to you children. Amen. And don't think that nothing can be possible. Because the Bible. The God of this Bible. The God that we believe in. Is the God of the impossible. That makes things all possible. Amen. Even from death to life. Let us pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship a song or two. You know I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love, I loved him because he loved me when I couldn't love myself, when I didn't love myself. We can't say that we love ourselves if we're sitting here foul, corrupt, um, living in perversity, um, uh, um, striping, and all. You know what? That's not a piece of the Lord. They shake it off and, and let it go this day. To command it in your hand. Get up out of here. We ain't got time for all of that. Amen. We got peace here. We got peace like the river that the Father. The Almighty God left unto us. And how awesome is that, Spirit? How awesome is that? Let us pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship a song to, or two. You know, we're in a time. We're going to go into tune with Christ. And Christ the Messiah. Christ, Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus. We're going to go into the tomb with him. Amen. Crucifying our flesh. Crucifying our doubts. Crucifying our, fear, our fears in truth. Crucifying the deception. Crucifying. Crucifying and the cunning and craft is we're gonna bind it and we're gonna throw it to the depths of hell. Amen. Praise God. And we're gonna sit here walking the newness of life in three days when he rises. If you sit here and heed and 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 follow the example, you gotta follow the example. You know what the Almighty doesn't want? He doesn't want spectators. He wants participants. Amen. Praise God. All of you spirits that have an ear to hear. Spiritual or not. Amen. Praise God. Just like these worldly things, y'all be y'all y'all glorify being participants in this worldly thing that profit you nothing. Have that same excitement in your life to sit here and be able to be privileged to be raised to life. Amen. In Christ, Yeshua Messiah Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you've given us. For this opportunity to sit here and rejoice and be glad in you, Father God. I know this is a solemn time for us that are sitting here, that have took it to heart. The things that you have done for us. Suffering. Suffering that cross. Suffering death, Father God, for us. Shedding your precious blood to wash us and to renew us and to set us on this firm foundation. The veil's been torn and we're going to read some of that, Father God. Because you tell us in your word, we have to have faith and believe in the words that are being spoken unto us. For their living word, their strength, their courage, their Endurance, their rebuke and their exhortation, their correction, they're leading us, Father God, in this in this narrow path that very few not are going to find it. They're going to refuse to walk in it, Father God. We're walking on that narrow path from death to life, Amen. By having faith and believing in everything that you sit here and wrote for us, as you left us instructions in this holy word, Lord, for us to sit here not waver. And to be able to have our eyes opening and discern the cunning and craftings of the enemy when he's coming to us. And to try to feed us. Because we it, we won't accept candy from strangers, Holy Father. I love you, Lord. We won't be those that, you, that, that, that come and fall over easily, Father God. We ain't going to be following... At all, because we know that your Bible tells us that those that remain standing in full assurance of our faith, when you shake the heavens and the earth, we will be standing, Father God. We'll be the last one standing, this remnant. These diamonds that you got in the rough, that are hidden. We're hidden, Father God. We're hidden gems. Amen, and we know it. We love you, Father. Not because we're proud or arrogant or any of that, but we... Are the demonstration and the power of the Holy Ghost that dwells within us that you left into us. We love you, Father. We thank you as we enter this Father's house. Amen. As we sit here and rejoice and be glad in you, Father. We sorrow in our hearts because you took something for us, Father God. But we're going to sit here and show how gracious we are, how grateful we are by sitting here being obedient and hungering for you and thirsting for you to walk in a manner that's pleasing to you and not to man, Father God. 
Nakuste Begulewa. We love you, Father. We bless your holy name and we thank you that you're going to be in the midst. Today is a sorrowful day because you sit here, Father God, you yourself bore that cross for us and left us an example to follow. Help us, Father God, if we're struggling in anything. We got to have faith and believe in the power of the cross. We got to have faith and true believe in our hearts, Father God. That you did things so we could overcome all things. We got to have faith and believe, Father God, that as we died to the flesh when you got crucified, Father God, that you broke the bonds, you broke the shackles, you broke the chains, you broke the excuses, Father God. We can't live in them if we're walking with you. We live in the full authority and the power of your Holy Ghost and your word. Help my brothers and my sisters from every nation, every tribe, and every tongue, every stone that you are waking up at these end times, Father. Every elect, every soldier, every saint, every warrior, we raise them with you, Father God. Raise them up in you. We worship you and we honor you, Father, and we thank you for who you are, for the loving kindness, for the mercy, for the forgiveness, for your grace that we do not deserve, for your spirit. Let it rest on us. In my master Christ, to you, Monsieur Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's sing a song or two. Amen. I love to praise the Lord. I love to praise the Father for the freedom that is found in his death and resurrection. Amen. Praise God. We in the Father's house. So praise him with all your heart. Just like when we used to sing these worldly songs with all our heart that meant nothing but perversion and corrupting. Amen. Praise God. And y'all danced to it. Y'all was doing the do uh, just dancing with the demons. So let us dance with the Lord. Amen. Praise God in these things. God is good and he's worthy to be praised, beloved brothers and sisters. Praise you, Lord. Glory to you, Father, God of all creation. Abba. We call on you, Lord of hosts, God of all creation. Sometimes on this journey, I get lost in my mistakes. What looks to be weakness is the canvas for Christ's strength. Well, our story isn't over, and our story's just begun. Failure isn't find me, cause that's what my father does. Failure won't define me, cause that's what my father does. Oh, lay your burdens down. Oh, here in the father's house, check your shame at the door, cause it ain't welcome anymore. Ooh, we're in the Father's house. Abba Kuste Bebule Wahoo. We praise you, Father. We glorify you. We honor you with our lives, Lord. Just like you honored and you lay down your life in your seat. So when we lay all down our lives for you, it will not be in game. The journey's where you are. You never wanted perfect. You just wanted my heart. When the story isn't over, if the story isn't good, the failure don't find you, the father's in the room. The failure's never final when the father's in the room. Ooh, lay your burdens down. Ooh, here in the father's house. Check your shame at the door, cause it ain't welcome anymore. Ooh, we're in the Father's house. Abba Kuste Be Ule Bless you, Lord. Glory to you, Father. As we sit here, we saints come marching in, Father God. The prodigals come home. The helpless find home. Love is on the move when the Father's in the room. 
Particles with white, the dead come to life. Love is breaking through when the father's in the room. Miracles take place, the cynical find place. Love is breaking through when the father's in the room. The Jericho walls are breaking, strongholds now are shaking. Love is breaking through when the father's in the room. Yeah, love is breaking through when the father's in the room. Ooh, lay your burdens down. Ooh, here in the father's house, set your shame at the door, cause it is welcomed anymore. Amen. Praise God. We are in the Father's house these days and these times that are glorious, beloved brothers and sisters. They're glorious. Amen. But you got to sit here and let God sit here and work for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wherever you're at, wherever you are, you praise the Lord. You glorify and honor him and let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Each and every day. We are the church spirit. Amen. And we're here to encourage each other. I give you glory for all you brought me through. And now we're ready for whatever you want to do. I'm moving forward to follow at 